Hi, welcome to 3D Printed Angular. I'm Alex. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to make this 3D printed top water popper plug. It's a very simple lure you can make if you have a 3D printer with you. Okay, let's get started. Okay guys, this is the 3D model for this top water plug. I'm not a professional 3D model designer. I revisioned it so many times to make it work properly. I already uploaded to the Thingiverse.com. You can find the link in the description below so you can download it. And follow the steps in the video to make it yourself. This is the 3D slicer setting. I'm using Reft for better surface adhesion. No support needed. The printing temperature I'm using is 210 degrees. The printing temperature is really dependent on your filament type and the manufacturer. The filament I'm using is PLA. I got a much better result from PLA than ABS. ABS is too difficult to print and not as strong as PLA. The printing job already done and this is the result finished printing product. Right now I'm gonna peel the lure body off from the reft. This is the lure body. Now we can start to assemble them together, become lure. Okay, here are all the stuff we need to make this fishing lure. We need a set of uh, pliers, different purpose, for different purpose. We need uh, some wires, actually three wires. This is a stainless steel wire to I'm gonna bend and twist those wires to become fish eye, not fish eye, hook eyes. We need a, a pair of fish eyes, 3D fish eye, those are. And uh, we need uh, some steel balls. Uh, I'm gonna use those balls for weight and uh, rattles. And we need some super glue. We need a brush and uh, two part epoxy to make a coating to seal the lure and we need uh, some glitters to make a uh, lure looks looks fantastic and then we need a uh, uh, two triple hooks that's a 3-0 size triple hook and uh, we need a three uh, we need three split rings and a small container for mixing the two two part epoxy. And then we also need this. This is a turner or or rotator. This also is three D printed. I designed and printed it. I designed and printed this uh, turner. That we need, uh, we need that for the later. We need that for later coding job. Uh, coding job. Uh, I also gonna make a video about this. All tools and the materials. I will put a link in the description below. Description below. Okay, let's get start. We're gonna start with the hook eye. So we're gonna start to bend those. Uh, wires. So let's put the uh, other stuff to the side. Okay, we're gonna start bend the wire.
so put uh, this Hokai to the here, then give you a rough measurement where you to have where to bend the, the wire. Can we bend it here? Use this uh, lock jar plier to lock it. Then use this uh, round the nose plier to bend it. Like this. So it should be enough should be enough uh, distance to insert the Hokai into the position. And we're gonna cut the The Hokai is locked in place. We can bend it a little bit. We can make another. Well, apparently I made uh, Hokai too too short, so I have to make another one. Okay. Okay, now we made uh, three Hokkaids. Now we have to pay. Uh, we have to put those weights into the position, into the slot. And I put these small BBs into the rattle chamber. Rattle chamber. Chamber. Okay, now we are going to apply super glue.
Genau. So, go two parts together. Line them up, give it a little press. Then apply super glue to the gap. Want to fill every gap. I'll give it a little press. Okay, now we have to wait a little bit of time to let the super glue dry. Well, while waiting for the super glue to dry, we can do the hook first. Well, we can put a sp spur ring on the hook. Now we can also put the fish eye on. Okay, now the super glue is fully dried. Now I'm going to secure the hook eye with a little bit of uh, epoxy. Now I have to mix uh, these two part, two parts, two part epoxy. This epoxy is one to one uh, equal amount epoxy, so. I, if I use 10 drop of the epoxy, 10 drops, the other side is gonna be uh, 10 drop as well. Okay, 15 drops. Fifteen drops. 
Now I have to mix them up. Okay, then I'm gonna fill those holes. with the epoxy by drop it into the hole okay so the holes, holes are filled, now I can put this on. Put this on the turner. I can turn on the turner. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we can start to apply epoxy. And now I have to mix mix a little bit more epoxy. start to apply epoxy Okay, now I already put uh, epoxy on the all of the surface of the lure. Right now I have to add a little bit of shininess to the lure. So I'm using the glitters. So I'll add a little bit of glitter to the epoxy. Mix them together. Okay. Oh, 
them apply the glitters to the lure apply them evenly oh, let it rotate four to six hours before we apply second layer of coating Okay, time for second layer of coating. Okay, let's give it let's give it another four to six hours. Okay, let's apply the last layer of coating. Okay, now let's give it 12 hours to dry, to cure, if we touch it again. Okay, right now, uh, it's not fully cured, but it's hot enough. So we can take it off from the turner. Okay, let's move to Norway. Okay. So, uh, right now what we have to is uh, adjust uh, the Hokkaido a little bit to the center. Okay, good enough. And this one pretty good. This one need a, little, need a little bit turn. Okay, so now we put these hooks on. And one more split ring. Oops. Okay. Guys, check this out. This is the finished product. Very smooth, very shiny. And again, this. Uh, Epoxy is not fully cured yet. We need to wait like a 24 hours before we actually before we actually use it. So be patient. Wait another 24 hours. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and comment below. Soon I'm gonna make a video about this tuner and my other lures. Uh, please subscribe for my future video. I really need your help to grow this channel. So don't so don't so don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye. See you next in Thank you very much. Bye. See you in next video.